Hi, God bless you. This is your brother Ferdinand. And uh, we are still looking at the fact that the future looks like the promises of God. In the last episode, we saw that your future is determined by your nature. The nature that you carry is predictive of your future. I said nature predicts future. The future of a lion in a jungle is predictable by the nature that the lion carries. You see, the future of a lion is not the same as the future of a deer in a jungle. They, they, even the nature already begins to give you an idea. And that's why the Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 1 that God has given us by his divine power, this is verse 3 now, all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of the one that called us to his own glory and virtue. And then we are now told in verse 4, he said, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, so that by these promises you become partakers of the divine nature. So you see divine power giving us promises that make it possible for us to be partakers of the divine nature. And once you are carrying divine nature and you know who you are carrying, your future is already predetermined. Your future is guaranteed by that divine nature that is resident in your life. Hallelujah. Now, it now says in verse 4 that we have been given exceedingly great and precious promises. Your future looks like the promises of God. Whoa, hallelujah. The future of a child of God is predicated on what God has promised you. You see, some people are terrified, worried about the future. But if God has promised to be with you tomorrow, do you know that the future will look like that promise? He said, I am the Lord that heals you. So what does your future look like? Your future looks like health and healing. Why? Because you have a promise that covers that for your future. Your future looks like the promises of God. Why is that so? Because the only thing that will happen in your life is the one that God said it will happen. As long as you agree with God in faith, when you join faith to the promises of God, He predicts your future. Look at the people that God called. He made promises to them and they believed God. Look at Abraham. Abraham's future looked like the promises of God. When he was leaving Ur of the Chaldeans, he didn't look like the future. He didn't look like the promise. But the future looked like the promise. And when you now trace the man's life, and then you look back, you realize that the promises predicted his future accurately. The promises of God for your life in scripture, if you will lay hold on them, they are the guarantee for your future. The message version says concerning that scripture that God has given to us absolutely terrific promises. Your tickets to participation in the life of God. Absolutely terrific promises. Your tickets to participation in the triumphant overcoming life of God. Your future looks like the pro your future financially looks like God promises to you. God's promises to you financially. So what you need to do is to stand on the promises. And those promises will define your future. So this means that you are going to spend time in the world to discover your heritage. To study what God has promised you. Many believers have no idea of the exceedingly great and precious promises of God that cover every imaginable area of life. Do you know that there is a promise of protection? There's a prom promise of healing. There's a promise of provision. There's a promise of the divine presence. There is a promise of answered prayer. Excuse me. When you have the promises of answered prayer in the book, they will determine your future. Because no matter what the future will bring, you will pray and God will answer. Hallelujah. So spend time to meditate on the promises, to believe them, to agree on them with them, and then to stand on them. And you are going to see them come to pass. And they will define your future. Eternal Father, thank you that we can face the future confidently with your promises. And so Lord, we stand on those promises. We receive them. And we grow in them. 
and we see them manifesting in our lives, no matter what the future brings, no matter the attack that the enemy aims at us, we see your promises swallowing all of those attacks as we stand in faith and quench the fiery darts with the shield of faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Take up the shield of faith. The shield of faith is the shield of what you believe. The shield of your confidence in God. And the Bible says that with that, you will quench all the fiery darts of the enemy, no matter what the future brings. Bye-bye.